the best Windows 10 11 gaming and performance optimization. If you're a Windows PC user, chances are you're missing out on some serious gaming potential due to unoptimized Android settings. But fear not, in this guide, we're about to turbocharge your Windows performance for gaming, slash input delay, and the best part, we won't be downloading a single thing. All these performance boosting tweaks are right at your fingertips with the Windows operating system itself. Welcome to System Secrets, your digital decoder for all things tech. Join us on an electrifying journey through the heart of computers, Windows, and beyond. Whether you're a tech guru or a curious newcomer, we've got the hacks, tips, and secrets to make your digital life a breeze. Don't miss out, hit that subscribe button and let's unlock the system secrets together. And here's the kicker. Whether you're rocking Windows 11 or 10, whether your PC is low-end, mid-range, or high-end, you're in for a treat. By the end of this guide, you can expect not only a significant boost in FPS, but also a buttery smooth Windows experience. So, what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. To start, open the Start menu and search for Device Manager. Once it's open, click on System Devices to expand the list. Look for Composite Bus Enumerator and right-click to choose Disable Device. If it's already disabled, you'll see the option to enable it. Next up, let's tackle a few more optimizations. 1. Find the High Precision Event Timer in Device Manager, right-click it, and choose Disable Device. 2. Similarly, locate the Numeric Data Processor, right-click, and disable it. 3. Now, look for the SM Bus Source Controller, and you guessed it, right-click to disable it. Once you've disabled all these devices, head over to Network Adapters and expand the list. Right-click on your network connection, select Properties, and navigate to the Power Management tab. Make sure to uncheck all the boxes here, then hit OK. Now, for the final touches, 1. Click on View and select Devices by Connection. 2. Locate the USB host controller that your mouse and keyboard are connected to. In my case, there are two but my mouse and keyboard are attached to the first one. Expand it to reveal your mouse and keyboard. 3. For the second one, which might contain generic USB hubs, close it down. Focus on the specific generic USB hub that has your mouse and keyboard. Right-click on it, choose Properties, and head to the Power Management tab. Ensure the Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Option is unchecked, click OK. 4. Next, right-click on your mouse, go to Properties, and repeat the Power Management step, ensuring the first option is unchecked. 5. Lastly, do the same for your keyboard. Right-click, Properties, and uncheck the first option in the Power Management tab. With these adjustments in place, you can now close Device Manager as we're done here. Let's keep the optimization train rolling. Number 1. Open your Start menu once more and type msconfig to find an open system configuration. 2. In the System Configuration window, head over to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. 3. Ensure that the Number of Processors option is checked and set it to the highest available for your system. In my case, I have 4, but your CPU may have more or fewer cores. Set it accordingly. 4. Click OK and then move on to the Services tab. Now, let's refine your system even further. 1. In the Services tab of the System Configuration window, make sure that Hide All Microsoft Services is checked. 2. Uncheck any services that you don't want to start with Windows. For example, you might want to uncheck services related to Adobe, Brave, Google Chrome, PC Manager, and anything else you deem unnecessary at startup. However, be cautious not to uncheck anything related to your graphics card or critical Windows services. After making these selections, head to the Startup tab. Click OK to apply your changes and then open up the Task Manager. Now, we're fine-tuning your startup programs. 1. In the Task Manager, go through the list of startup programs and disable any that you don't want to launch with Windows. 2. To disable a program, simply right-click on it and select Disable. If it's already disabled, you'll see the option to enable as in my case. 3. Once you've disabled any unnecessary programs, you can go ahead and close the Task Manager. With these adjustments made, your Windows should be running leaner and meaner for a smoother gaming experience. After you've finished, click on Apply and then OK. 
you may be prompted to restart but for now, choose Exit without restarting since we'll be doing that later. Next, return to the Start menu, type in Keyboard, and access the keyboard settings within the Control Panel. Once there, ensure that both the Repeat Delay and Repeat Rate are adjusted to the fastest setting which is to the far right. Click Apply and then OK. Now, head back to the Start menu and this time search for Mouse to proceed. Feel free to access the mouse settings and proceed by selecting additional mouse settings. Afterward, navigate to the mouse pointer options section and confirm that the pointer speed is adjusted to the sixth dot on the scale. Additionally, ensure that the enable control precision option is left unchecked. Because this action will deactivate mouse acceleration, it will result in a notably smoother experience with reduced input delay when using your mouse. Click apply and then OK. And now we can proceed to the Advanced System Settings. Once more, access your Start menu and search for Advanced System Settings. Open it up, and within the Advanced section, under Performance, click on Settings. By default, it will be set to let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Simply click on Adjust for Best Performance and ensure that four of these options are checked. 1. Display shadows under Windows. 2. Show thumbnails instead of icons. 3. Smooth edges of screen fonts 4. Use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop After completing this step, go ahead and click on Advanced. Ensure that the setting for Adjust for Best Performance is set to Programs. Click Apply, then OK, and finally hit OK once more. At this stage, it's advisable to establish a system restore point. We'll be making significant alterations to Windows settings and your preferences for these changes might vary. The reason we didn't create a restore point earlier is because you can manually revert these tweaks by enabling or disabling specific settings as demonstrated in the video. To generate a restore point, follow these steps. Start by opening your start menu, then type restore. Select create a restore point. Inside this menu, choose the drive where Windows is located. Click configure, enable turn on system protection, and set the maximum usage to approximately 5%. Click OK. Next, select Create and you can name it as you prefer. I'll name it the Restore Point. Then click Create. With the Restore Point now successfully created, click Close and then OK. Open the Start menu once again and access these settings. For Windows 10 users, please note that the layout may appear different, but the settings are mostly consistent. Within the Display settings, ensure that the scale is set to 100. It's important to keep it at this level because setting it to anything else can result in a slight increase in input delay for reasons unknown. Returning to the system settings, access notifications and ensure that they are switched off. Next, go back to the system settings once more, but this time, navigate to storage. Click on Storage Sense and activate it. Set it to run Storage Sense every month. This setting ensures that once a month, Windows will automatically perform cleanup, removing temporary and unnecessary files that are no longer needed.